Este es Ron con Ana Computers. Acá me otro video para ti hoy. Ubisoft tech support deny that digital rights management and virtual machine protect that they use in their video games is causing 100% central processing unit utilization. That's I wouldn't say it's never a good thing, but you want to become cautious and careful when you run computer CPUs at 100% because that can cause them to overheat and destroy the chip. So Ubisoft, they deny this deals with the Assassin's Creed Origins game. Now, not all gamers that are using playing this game have noticed this problem. I'm not sure I don't have this game, so I cannot test it and try to recreate this problem. It could be the type of CPUs that certain individuals are using, but that's no excuse from a gaming company. That's no excuse for any company. But they deny, but that's what corporations do. Humans protect themselves via abstractions like corporations. So Assassin's Creed Origins on a personal computer is causing some central processing units to start maxing out at 100% utilization, 100% usage. It runs this game at 30 frames per second. What else about this? Now, digital rights management and virtual machine protect are anti-piracy software. So what happens is this game also has code that uses digital rights management and virtual machine protect. So those are two other layers of software and code that the game has to go through. So it's, I would consider that bloatware, but they claim that, you know, it does not, that's not causing the problem, even though there are already gamers out there and people out there claiming that the binaries in DRM, digital rights management, and virtual machine protect is what's causing the computer central processing unit to max out at 100%. So of course Ubisoft's going to deny it even if it's true. That's how corporations roll. They get your money and then they deny everything. Once they get your money, then all bets are off. That's capitalism. Now, Ubisoft did release a patch, version 1.03, but I went, it's linked. You can check out the version 1.03 patch for Assassin's Creed's Origins in my blog post at my website, anacompares.com. Leave your question at the link in this video description. However, the abstract verbiage did not stipulate that that patch would fix the 100% you know CPU utilization if you're if, anytime your computer processor runs at 100% you better start monitoring it because that can cause the C, the computer to overheat and on windows that can cause blue screens the blue screen of death and that can also damage permanently the processor and do you think that Ubisoft is going to fucking give a rat's ass if your processor overheated? Probably not. Do you think that they're going to pay for the replacement of that central processing unit, CPU? No. In my opinion, that is why they're denying. A lot of times with these fascist billion dollar corporations, multi-million dollar corporations, and that includes the gaming industry, there's billions of dollars involved in the gaming industry. They deny everything a lot of times because of marketing and because of money. They don't want to have to hire lawyers. They don't want to have to pay to replace your CPU even though it was their fault or even though they knew it or even though they know that, you know, virtual, excuse me, digital rights management, virtual machine protect is the root cause analysis. I don't know that for a fact. I do not have this game. I'm not a gamer, so I cannot 
try to reproduce. But I've studied these billion dollar crooked borderline, well, some of them are criminal, crooked corporations. And once they get your money, they deny everything. Now, according to their specifications, Ubisoft recommends an Intel Core i5-2400S running at 2.5 gigahertz or an advanced micro devices processing unit, D, excuse me, FX6350 running at 3.9 gigahertz or equivalent. So when you buy games, you need to make sure that you as the Gestapo stock the students, I mean, as the Gestapo roll by, oh, they're driving through the parking lot, even though, oh, no, they're not, they're stopped. The police, there's a high school over here, and I kid you not, the police just, I don't believe in coincidences, all of a sudden they appear when the high school students are on their free hours. And now the police stop right there in the street, and now you got all these students out there, and it looks like, Yeah, they, ooh, did one of them get in the car with? I would never, ever, ever get a ride by the police, and I'm an adult. Yeah, the Gestapo called them over. They they harass these students. This is different. Well, the, I've never been a fan of police, but they're getting worse. Okay, now the students took off. That's not necessary. They, In my opinion, the police in America are now harassing your children. If they... I thought we lived in a free country. If you're not doing anything wrong, then why do the police pull over and talk to you? Creepy. Creepy. All right. I should have got that on camera, but that might be too controversial for YouTube, and I might get my YouTube channel pulled if I dare criticize the Gestapo in America, or if I dare criticize them and film them at the same time. Okay, I digress back to the video gaming. You always want to make sure that when you purchase software or an operating system or a, vi a game, a video, a PC game, that you go out and check out the minimum standards. Because what can happen, especially with gaming, what can happen is that you buy the latest and greatest game, but your processing unit, your CPU, the microprocessor that runs the computer, the brains of the computer, is not up to standard and that can cause your computer to overheat that can cause your CPU to spike or to over max to run at a hundred percent now like I said at the beginning of this video that's it's not always a bad thing but you you better start monitoring your temperature anytime your CPU reaches you know close to a hundred well high high usage especially a hundred percent you better monitor the temperature of the computer because, like, I already went over this already. You know what I'm saying? The patch is 1.3 gigabytes in size. It is supposed to improve performance and stability, but like I said, they released this patch announcement on their forums. I don't know why these corporations do that. Why don't you make a YouTube video? Why don't you write a press release? Why don't you write a blog post? Do you have an email list? So you release your patches on a forums and you expect all of your customers to read that forum post? Because I went and checked out Ubisoft.com, I could not find any information about this patch on their blog or their news section. But I did find it on their forums, which is it's better than nothing. But I'm a huge critic under capitalism of these billion dollar corporations. And that includes the gaming corporations because their negligence or their denial can cause your CPU to overheat and thus die. And that can be very expensive. But do you think they fucking care? No. So you you have to, you know, study. You have to become informed yourself. I don't rely on the police. I do not rely on corporations. 
No way, uh-uh. No. No, I don't think we live in an honest society where you can trust your government, your military, the police, and, you know, these corporations. No, they don't care. They don't care if your CPU just burns up. Because digital rights management and or virtual machine protect is using most of your, you know, processing time. They don't care. And they don't care if you're ignorant. They don't care if you're negligent. They don't care if you do not monitor your temperatures. No, they don't care. The system doesn't care. This is not a caring and benevolent dictatorship. It's the opposite to me. That's what pisses me off the most, is that these comp they know better than that. There are multiple articles out there that are claiming that that is a lie. That Ubisoft is not being honest and truthful. I just, I, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. I don't think they're being honest, but like I said before, I don't have the game to... But my point is that there's nothing wrong with being ignorant. If you look up the definition, well, in English, m words have multiple definitions. I don't like that about the English language, but that's just the way it is. But when you look up the word ignorant, one definition is that you just don't know. It's a lack of knowledge. You don't know. You didn't know any better. You bought this game. Okay, well, you have a two-year-old computer. You loaded the game. Oh, well, you didn't know. Okay, well, you didn't know that it could be a dangerous thing for your central processing unit to spike or run at 100%. Oh, you didn't you did not know that sometimes when CPUs run at 100%, it can cause the computer to overheat. You did not know that that could then cause the CPU to cease and desist from working. All right, I'm ranting. Anything else about this? I guess what's most important, the moral of the story is become informed, study on your own, don't take anybody's word, don't take my word for it, don't believe anything I say, and then learn, study, protect yourself. Okay, well, you know, this is what could happen if the CPU reaches 100%. Okay, well, I need to monitor the temperature now. You can't, you can't, there's a, utility called speed fan I would recommend that you install speed fan speed fan is a free utility that runs on Microsoft Windows machines it runs on Windows 10 I'm pretty sure and it monitors the temperature of your computer it monitors the fan the fan speeds it depends on the BIOS which in my which in my opinion all operating systems should have a built-in free application that monitors the temperature of your computer there's that's there are no excuses for that it's like your your automobile your automobile has a temperature sensor right every automobile that I'm aware of has a temperature sensor because you do not want the engine to overheat not only can that cause the that can that can cause the the water pump to fail or or leak permanently that can cause your I mean it can cause all kinds of problems it can destroy the engine you can I'm, I'm being serious when your automobile overheats it can be a serious problem you know what I'm saying the same thing with your computer when your computer overheats it can cause major problems it can damage components especially the CPU I think I covered everything adios